Welcome back. Now we're going to look at road safety and the role of the various agencies involved in that particular sector. Road safety is primarily the protection and security of all those who travel on the roads. It encapsulates all from pedestrians to animal-drawn vehicles and from two-wheelers to all types of multi-wheel transportation. Keeping our roads and vehicles in good shape is very essential and cultivating such habit will perhaps reduce accidents on our roads. Um, as part of efforts to reduce road accidents, the Vehicle Inspection Service has been on the road for some time now to ensure that vehicles on the roads are in good shape. Um, if you live in Lagos State, I'm sure you have noticed that the activities have kind of intensified and you go around some bends where there's no way for you to turn back and bang they're there and waiting I, for you i wonder why they chose the bends well, for obvious reasons <laughs> you can't you can't turn you turn and there they are in front of you and there's nothing you can do about it mr <laughs> hygienus or Meiji is the sector commander federal road safety lagos command good morning good morning <laughs> and we are also expecting the director of the vehicle inspection service to join us in the course of the segment we are very happy to see you this morning thank you very much good to be with you yes um what is all this hiding in the street corner about no no no, no. nobody hides anywhere <laughs> No. Nobody, nobody hides anywhere. Well, for every um, law enforcement, traffic enforcement agency, um, as much as you can uh, at times see them on places where they will have to see you before you see them, mm -hmm. but they are always visible on the road. It's not as if it is hiding. If by adventure you have seen anybody in a bend, that would just be coincident. <laughs> now, big... um, you all are making, you want to make sure that uh, the number of accidents is reduced yeah. and people are safer on the roads. Exactly. Um, we see a lot of commercial vehicles that have no tail lights. Uh, you so sometimes in the night you see trailers. <laughs> No lights at all on them, no indication. And, and they're wondering... belching smoke like mad. And you are arresting my saloon car, which has everything. Well, you're, you're stopping my saloon car, which has everything working. And yet these people are getting away with it. Sometimes we wonder, are you all being partial? Because they're commercial vehicles. <laughs> no, 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 no. The law is not in respect of anybody. Well, well sometimes, sometimes you make us wonder. No, 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 no. The law is not a respect of everybody. But the, the truth of the matter have to be said. Um, those vehicles, I think it's just about the day you are arrested. That's the day you now say that the judgment has come to your own. To your <laughs> own. <laughs> but it's not as if you exclude any category of vehicles. You said something now. You say at night. If you notice our game our, our our relationship with them is like that of the cat and the mouse they will at times target you when they know that you will not be there and pm they just pass the frac for one even the vehicle inspection services as uh, you introduce you notice that all of us we hardly operate at night for security reasons we were not armed so you can only see us visibly during the day um by six latest seven or eight within the city center mm -hmm. uh, we are off the road because staying on the highway in the night we are not armed is a Dangerous. risk yeah. on the on the personnel yes. so and if you also notice uh, you you find out that some of these trucks that you mentioned well, their takeoff time at times is 10 o'clock in the night mm -hmm. and that's simply because they want to evade being apprehended but having said that there are peculiar play times also we create time for them during the day because some of them also apply during the come out during the day and we create time to check some of those things and when we find them not there we insist that they change it even before they 
they, they, they are allowed to pay fines or anything of that sort. Okay. What about those that smoke, the ones that Nyota was referring to? The excessive uh, uh, smoking. Mm. Pollution. Course. Yes. Th th those ones, they are, uh, not only that they pose uh, uh, hazard to your safety, which time you want to talk about, environmentally they are also uh, hazard. So you need to, we, 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 we have always picked on them and they uh, we had always picked on them at various times. Mm. Yeah. I, I was going to talk about um, those particular vehicles, but let's come back again and look at the personnel. Yeah. I wish the your colleague from the Vehicle Inspection Service was here, but there was some comment. Is it possible that your personnel are compromised? That's why these people continue to get away with a lot of these things, because a lot of accidents that happen shouldn't even be happening. Compromise. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it is all about compromise all, most of the time. It's not just about compromise. But that is not to say that among every 12, you will not get a Judas. One thing good about the uh, core in particular is if you look at as I'm here in the studio, I'm even with my name tag. That means that anybody you are dealing with, and I want to say this for the benefit of our, the listening public, because when we are trying to... Um, checkmate corruption, we must look at it from its uh, ram, total ramification of the whole thing. Right. Look at the person you are dealing with. If the person is asking you for any other thing other than what he is expected to do, please take down his name mm -hmm. and report it. Mm. And remember that he also takes two to tango. Mm. The man mm. that is giving and the man that is receiving, two of you are committing this liable same. yes offense so <laughs> if you now say compromise the big question will be who is compromising who, who? exactly exactly mm. okay yeah who because if you tell me somebody is asking for anything then if you did give that thing you two you are equally guilty and, and in if most you're cases on the right side of the law and in most you cases give anything. and in most cases you discover that the inducement even comes from the other party, not even the, the, the uniform, <laughs> the, the, the personnel themselves. The inducement <laughs> comes because he knows that he has something to hide. But okay. you, you see, the, the thing is, there are a lot of people who believe that the first job of the agent yeah. or the official is to educate before you even punish. Yes. As in, I miss my way. The first job is to educate me, then you tell me why I'm going to be punished, mm -hmm. that I broke this. Mm -hmm. But many of them don't do that. But before you enter that, let's welcome Mr. Bolan Toriola, Director, Vehicle Inspection Service. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. I have a special question designed for you. <laughs> but you are, so let me come back to you. You will agree with me that education, education without enforcement amounts to nothing but entertainment. No, but that's the there thing. There is a limit to which you educate. And because there is no way we can carry label on our faces to know who have been warned or who cautioned yeah. or who have not, then at a point in time, because we are, for crying out loud, we are all adults. The man knows that what is did is wrong. Okay. So for how long will you now say you are warning or you are educating? There must be limits. That's why they call them law enforcement agents. If you remove the enforcement, then what are they on the road doing? Okay. All right. Okay. Mr. Okay. Toriola. We're not done with that. Mr. Now, Mr. this special question that has yes. been crafted for you. <laughs> Mr. Toriola. All right. Once again. <laughs> Incidentally, the question I prepared for you has a corroborative um, tweets coming in from Dio. Dio says, dangerous trailers or vehicles are left unchecked, overloaded with one tires and a rickety, smoking so much that you can barely see, even in daytime. And this boils down to the fact that your personnel are compromised. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, uh, the question is okay. Well, at the same time, it's one that you are prepared for. It's okay. You see, we, see, we are part of this society and we also move in the state too. And also observes, just like what he has also observed too. And I must tell you, with a lot of 